Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new series starting a, this is the first video of a series called Is It Worth It? Where I purchase books online from different online book stores and then talk about the experience and show you the condition of the books and all of that. Um, but before we get into that, Happy Booktubeathon! This is day three of Booktubeathon, and I'm doing pretty well. If you are not already, be sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm doing Insta stories and things like that to update you on my progress, and I'd love to see your progress as well. So today's um, video is going to be about thrift books. Thriftbooks.com is an online book thrift store, obviously. And you can get used books fairly cheaply. I mean, in, in pretty cheaply. And they have a, a wide selection. I am not sponsored. They don't know who I am. Blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to give them a try. Uh, what I do think is cool about them, and not only do you get books that you may want or books that may be out of print for a low price, but you can also earn credit. So for like every, I believe it's for every $50 you spend, you get some credit or something like that. So you could actually earn credit to use on the site by purchasing already really discounted books. So that's really cool. Um, because they are used books, they have a scale of like very good, good, acceptable, things like that. I will put on the screen what the actual rating system is. And I purchased four books. Oh, and if you do at least 10 books, you get free shipping. Um, so I placed an order for $16, so I got free shipping. I got four books for 16 bucks, which is awesome. And I wanted to share those with you and share the conditions with you and just my thoughts on the whole process. So I actually got them fairly quickly. They didn't all come together. I think it was three different shipments that came through and they were all in the thrift books packaging and they were you know packaged really well i don't feel like there was any damage done within the traveling of the books or anything so that was nice um so i just want to go ahead and show you this um this is a book that i actually get at my local used bookstore so used bookstore and it is really great condition it has a little mark on it so this is kind of what i'm expecting with used books now all the books that I bought were labeled very good condition and I have it right here all of them very good condition so the best I think um, well let's see there's two on here that are really good condition uh, one was cinder that I got and it has like the thrift book and I think this was actually came from a library so it's the library stuff on it um, this is in pretty good condition I feel like for the in the, the inside it was fine and when I went to Instagram and I did hashtag uh, thrift books, a lot of the books that people were receiving looked like this. And so to me, this is pretty decent. I mean, I don't, I can't remember how much did I pay for this. Cinder paid four bucks for this, so it's fine. Um, the next one, or actually the last one I got, and I think this is in the best condition, um, and that was Morgan Matson's Second Chance Summer. And I think I paid... Um, four bucks for this one really good condition no marks and everything like that um, but I did receive two books that I was not happy about the two books the two books that I got that I wasn't really thrilled with um, one was um, I'm looking at the receipt if you're not looking down the unexpected everything now the book itself it's in pretty it has like the rounded edges which really doesn't bother me it's not a big deal the pages are in good condition, so that's fine. But it is dirty, and I even wanted to bring a wet one just to wipe it and see what we got because it was so, oh, it looks so dirty that I was not pleased at all. And um, I actually, you'll probably see the same book behind me somewhere. I actually went, I wanted the hard copy, the hard cover, because I like the hard cover better than the newer cover and it still looks pretty dirty um but i just got a wet one and i don't know if you can see but can you see it's pretty dirty i think the lights are washing it out but it's pretty dirty there but 
Um, I'm going to pass that one along to a friend. Um, I have cleaned it, obviously, right in front of you, so that's fine. But I wasn't, like I said, the rounded edges here didn't really bother me. It was just that it was dirty, and I was just like, you know what? This is a book that I really love, and I want to have a nice copy of it. So I just went on Amazon and bought it. The fourth book I got was The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dressen. Remember, this was said it was in very good condition. And it looks like this. The pages look like this. And the back. So it actually, I think I took it out. There was like tab, a tab in here still. But the pages are all messed up. And like... I, like I said, this one is from my local used bookstore. I don't think they would have even accepted this book to to sell. And I personally think that this would have been... I feel like they should have said something other than very good condition. Because to me, this is very good condition. Honestly, this was in very good condition. It was just dirty. Um, and this one, like, like I said, these are, these are fine. These are in very good condition. A little stained here and there, but... That is not very good condition. So, my final thoughts. Oh, and here's the thing is I looked up, I wasn't really gonna plan on uh, not returning this or anything, but I checked the returns to see what their policy is and what I think happens. I don't know for certain, but this is just what I think. I think that what you do is, let's say I was really unhappy with this and I think, how much did I pay for this? Like three, four bucks, yeah. I think that what would happen is if I contacted them and said, hey, this book was in really bad condition, was not happy with it, I think what they would do is just give me credit for something in the future. So I don't know if that would be like a set amount of credit or credit for the actual book, which would be like $3.99. I don't know, but I think that's what happens, um, which is fine. So here's the deal. Is thrift books worth it? Yes and no. For me, I don't mind used books obviously I go nuts at my used bookstore and you know all the stuff I go to the library I don't mind used books but I prefer stuff that's in good condition if you are someone who's picky and like if you got this dirty and were like it was like like I'm not even gonna clean this I'm just gonna if you're afraid of getting a dirty book or something like that or if you're afraid of getting something like this and you like you don't want mind going through the I won't say it's a hassle but going and getting the the refund or the credit or something um, then I would say if that's something you would just prefer new books then don't go for thrift books um, but if you like used books you love books you want to build your collection and you don't really care um, you know, you're like, well, this is just this way, and I can just straighten the, the things out, put the heavy books on them, straighten them out. I can, if I don't, you know, if, if you're not if you're not worried about dealing with that type of thing, then thrift books is fine. I have a friend who just swears by it and just buys all kinds of books from them. Um, like I said, the, the credit aspect of, like, you spend this much, you build up points and all of stuff, that's phenomenal. So thrift books for used books, Yes, I'd say absolutely worth it if that's your thing and you don't you don't mind sometimes getting a dud in there. Um, but if you're someone who is super picky and just doesn't want to deal with something that might not be perfect, then just stay away from thrift books because there are used books and um, you know you can't just it's not like going through a thrift store or a used bookstore and seeing the condition they're in and they've been accepted only in like pristine condition and you're being able to pick because you don't, they, they're not going to show you the actual book that you're getting online. You're going to see the stock version and then you have to kind of go for their words. So if you're afraid of that, don't go for it. But if you are cool with taking the chance or you don't really care, you just want to read the book and you're just going to pass it along when you're done reading, go for it. The prices are really, really awesome. Only $10 for free shipping. And what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. And you earn points to put towards books in the future. So I say yes if you're cool with used books. 
know if you are just like totally ain't all about it and you really want those brand new spanking books then um you know you're afraid of that type of thing then don't don't bother because you can't pick and choose like I want this nice I want this pristine book or I want this perfectly you know in place book you know because it is a toss-up as to what you're gonna get so that is all I have to say so this is going to be probably the most confusing one of video that I've ever given you because I'm like yeah it's worth it no it's not yes it is um, I am perfectly happy with these used books that I got I don't mind I'll probably just if I do wind up reading this book I mean I wasn't planning on keeping it anyway I was gonna just read this book and pass it along anyway because that's what I do um, I was disappointed in this being so like dirty and the even though I cleaned it it still looks like it has some staining and stuff on it so that was a disappointment but the book itself is in good condition so will I per here we go will I purchase from thrift books again not in the near future because I think I found some online bookstores that I like better but if there is a book that I just kind of want to read and pass along and like I don't <laughs> I don't want to keep it on my shelf forever then yeah sure I, I, I would do that um, if I want to try a series out that that's basically what I did here I just want to try the series out to see if I like this before I went on because my idea is if I do like this series I've got the used book here I can pass it along and then I can just buy like a box set of like the nice books and keep them on my shelf so that's kind of my deal with thrift books so sorry for any confusion that I may be passing along but just know that it is hit or miss with the books that you get even if it says they're in very good condition but um, even the one that was kind of all the books are clean inside if that matters so yeah that's all I got for you <laughs> Hope that helps. Hope you guys are having a great book tube a thon I've already finished two books. I am working on two more in the audiobook section. I'm going to the library, get a few more things, and all of that. So next time we will be talking about Book Outlet, which, by the way, I am in love with. So, preview there. Uh, talk to you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a great day, gorgeous.